sometimes you just need to name something for the sake of a name and carry on. Someone should do like a name things and carry on thing, like a keep calm and carry on thing, like it's 2012 or something. On the 30th of September 1968, plane manufacturer Boeing presented to the world their brand new plane with passenger transportation in mind, the Boeing 747. Since its inception over 50 years ago, the Boeing 747 has become one of the most popular planes and widely recognized models out there. If you've ever done any kind of long haul flight, it was most likely on a Boeing 747. In fact, they're so popular they only stopped being made in 2023, meaning they had a shelf life of around 55 years. As the prominence of this plane took flight, so did those numbers of 747. Yet, this is not the only instance of a plane's name being formed from numbers. There's also the very popular Airbus A320, the Cessna 172, and even the B-52 were used by the US Air Force during the Second World War. The nomenclature of aeroplanes and numbers seems to go hand in hand. But why exactly is this the case, and how exactly are those numbers chosen? Well, this convention of using numbers as plane names seems to all stem from how they're produced. The aviation industry really picked up during the course of the Second World War. By this point, warfare had well and truly gone airborne, and those with the best planes had the best chance of victory. As all different kinds of planes had to be created fairly quickly, it meant there wasn't too much time in creating fun names for them. Well, unless you're British anyway. We had all kinds of crazy names for our planes, including but not limited to the Bristol Blenheim, the Grum Hellcat, the Fairy Gordon and the Vickers Wellington, just to name a few men. Leave it to Britain, even in the time of war, to give our planes silly, strange names. Well done, that's that. Makes me feel patriotic, I suppose. No, kind of, I don't know. It was weird. Everyone else have was pretty happy to just stick with numbers, especially over in the USA. As new models were produced, they were assigned with a specific number and then production could start on another model with a fresh number. It's definitely not the most exciting of explanations, but sometimes people don't need fancy, well thought out creative names for things. Sometimes you just need to name something for the sake of a name and carry on. Someone should do like a name things and carry on thing, like a keep calm and carry on thing, like it's 2012 or something, but anyway. And a really good way to make easily recognizable names which differentiate things which are similar is with numbers. And that is seemingly what what happened here. Thankfully, however, the Second World War did not last forever, and from the start of the war to the end, aviation had come a long way. It would be a shame to have made all this progress in the world of flight and just ditch all this progress too. So instead, companies like Boeing and the European Airbus got to work on making planes that could be used outside of warfare. And the key way in which they could be used was by shuttling tourists and other travellers to parts of the world they had only ever dreamed of visiting. This set in motion the production of those hugely popular planes, like the 747 and the A320, which had these number-centric names because by this point, using numbers for plane names was more or less the industry standard. But there's specific interesting stories as to why these numbers in particular were settled upon for these aircrafts. Before we continue, I want to say a huge thank to my most recent patron, so a huge thank to new patron Jason Cosman. Patron is the best way to financially support Name Explain, and donating just $1 a month gets you ad-free videos, a chance to say what names are explained, an exclusive monthly newsletter, and your name at the end of these videos. All of that can be found at patreon.com forward slash name explain, which will be linked down below. And conversely, if you want to just make a one-time donation, you can leave a super thanks directly in the comments section of any of my videos here on YouTube. They help out tremendously too. Thank you. And th this is completely unscripted, but over the last few months, I've had loads of time off, I've had loads of stuff going on in my life, and oh boy, as nice as it is to have time off, that's really affected my ad revenue, the money I make off of adverts on these videos. So... I'm just going to throw it out there. If you really can help just for Nate's favor, just like a super thanks to our Patreon at the moment, that would be hugely appreciated because... Whew. But back to those specific aircraft number names. When Boeing started producing planes, they assigned numbers to the kinds of planes they produced. 300 and 400 models were for warfare. 500 models were ones that had turbine engines. 600 models were rockets. And 700 was designated to transport planes that used jets. Yet they didn't just stick with the number 700 seemingly. Apparently, Boeing's marketing team felt that just the number 700 didn't sound too good or exciting, especially when they were hoping to sell these planes to airlines. They instead wanted a number that sounded more flashy and cool. So what did they do? Well, they simply added another 7 to the end of this name and created the 7X7 lines of jets. 
the first of these planes was simply dubbed the 707, and since then there have been 8 more, from the initial 707 all the way up to the 787, and for a variety of reasons the 747 has remained the most popular of these makes. This means that the 4 in the name simply comes from the fact it was the 4th in the line produced, or 5th I ought to say as there was the 0, so like the 707 was the first one, then the 717 was the second one, so yeah 747 was the 5th one, bit, 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 just, just, just a wee bit confusing lads, maybe just ditch the 707. Airbus landed on the name A320 in a similar way. When they started to produce passenger jets, they called it the A300 series. The A simply comes from the name of Airbus, and the number 300 represented the fact that the planes could hold 300 passengers. Well, except they, they didn't. After coining this name, Airbus realised that the planes would be better if they actually had 260 passengers instead of 300. But instead of renaming them the A260, they stuck with A300 once again for marketing reasons. 300 is just a cool letter, I suppose. Who doesn't love the word 300? There's actually a whole film called 300, and it's quite a decent film if I remember. I haven't seen it in ages, but I'm sure it's good. Um, anyway, then they too just added units of 10 onto the name whenever a new model came out, with the A320 being the most popular of them. They've actually got to A350 at this point too. Uh. So while these number-based names might seem boring at first glance, they serve the important purpose of being practical and efficient names, as opposed to names formed from creativity. But even sometimes these names could have stories behind them, like we see with the 747 and the A320. And today, aviation fans know these planes by their numbers alone, and they know exactly what number relates to what plane, which is really cool. I, however, am not a huge aviation fan or nerd, I'm afraid, but if you are, let me know your favourite plane name down in the comments below. Also, please share a topic down below which we cover in next Monday's Name Explained video. It could be about literally anything, and the topic can be as niche or broad as you like. I will then choose three of those topics and place them in a poll for my patrons to vote on. Then the winner from that poll will be the topic covered in next Monday's Name Explained video. Except I forgot to put a poll out last week, so instead of uh, having one voted on by people, I just looked into something interesting that happened on this Monday and found that Boeing released the 747, kind of just ran with that I suppose. This isn't the norm but it will definitely be back to normal next week so if you want to vote in that poll as well as enjoy many other great benefits then please do visit patreon.com forward slash name explain which will be linked down below and donate just one dollar a month. Thank you. Anyway, that's more than enough for myself, but don't forget to go follow me on Instagram where I'm NameExplainYT and don't forget to join the Facebook page Friends of Name Explain, where you can chat with myself and many other name nerds. Okay all, take care. We all good? Oh no, one moment, that's a bit... One moment. So let's go, shall we? As all different kinds of planes have to be created very fair, 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 blah. That's a rubbish clap. And that seemingly what happened. I mean, that's just uh, again from the beginning. I didn't wasn't vibing with that. Four seven in the A three tier A three two bubble. I'm not doing good claps today. Oof, we're done. My back hurts. Oh, I'm just falling to be some. But this is what being thirty is like. Your body just gives up on you.